So we need to keep that hallelujah in in um in prayer. Now listen, there's gonna be a re a rebellion that's gonna rise out of Senegal, the the country. Amen. God showed that to me. Amen. There's gonna be something, hallelujah, that rises out, rises up, amen, there in the country of Senegal. Now listen. Opposition leaders in Senegal have condemned a decision by President Macky Sall to postpone the next election indefinitely. The government cut off the internet as clashes erupted in the capital, Dakar. Saul says a dispute between lawmakers and the judiciary over the list of candidates means that the vote has to be delayed. We want an election. Go the chance in Senegal's capital, Dakar, as hundreds of people come out in protest. Nothing will stop us. That's our most basic right. It's a citizen's right. We have an appointment with the Senegalese people. This presidential candidate is arrested before she can even join party supporters. Security forces were seen arresting more protesters and using tear gas to disperse them. The clashes come a day after President Macky Sall postponed the upcoming presidential election to an indefinite date. Voters say it sets a worrying precedent as they march here calling Sall a dictator. It's not about whether the election will be postponed in the end or not. It's important for me to say no. If we don't, this regime will continue to push its agenda. Senegal has long been viewed as one of the most democratic nations in West Africa. But political tensions have been rising since earlier this year, when two candidates were disqualified from the presidential race. A country that was a champion of democracy. A country that had become a benchmark in Africa and the world. A country respected by all and everywhere. What has happened to bring us to this point? The government has also cut off internet access in some areas, disrupting public debate and adding to the resentment that people are already feeling. For more now, I'm joined by security consultant Kwesi Anni. Kwesi, it's good to have you with us. Let's start by, if you could, just tell us more about what is happening right now in Senegal. Well, what is happening basically is a president who ought to have handed over power on the 5th of, of April using every single tactic and trick in the book to hang on to power. He's claiming that some of the candidates have double uh, dual citizenship. Some ought to have been qualified earlier, and therefore, based on that, he is postponing the election indefinitely. Brent, this fits into a long pattern by Maxal mm -hmm. to disenfranchise the people of Senegal. And the people of Senegal are saying, no way, we will not tolerate that. We will not allow you. Maxal is playing a dangerous game. And I can assure you, in the long term, he will be the one who will lose, the people of Senegal. What, what the, these events, these events are, cert are certainly troubling. Um, we know Senegal has been considered a model of democracy in West Africa. Uh, could this turmoil, do you think it could impact stability in the greater region there? Oh, it certainly will impact. First and foremost is that this is a constitutional problem. Then there is no way that Makisal ought to have done this. This is high treason. This is a serious threat to Senegal's internal peace and stability. This feeds into the wider regional instability that we are seeing in Guinea, Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, attempted coup elsewhere. Macky Sall and his advisors seem not to be reading the signals from the sub-region of impatience, of intolerance, and of a youthful population driven by a desire to be inclusive in the political processes. People are watching from the sub-region. Others may want to exploit it. Yeah. Eventually, those who are guardians of the state, the military will have to make a decision. 